A lot of people love a chicken Kiev, it's a classic. Today we're gonna do sort of an Asian spin on that classic, so it's pork katsu Kiev, whatever. It's delicious butter stuffed pork chops, okay? <laughs> Instead of pork chops, we're starting out with even easier one pork tenderloin. Cut it lengthwise and across. See, this is the tail of the tenderloin. See there? We've just quartered it lengthwise, okay? I take each of those four pieces, we'll make one cutlet. Then you pound it basically into schnitzel. Then for the butter, we make a compound butter. For every four of your stuffed Kiev, you're going to need one stick of butter. Soften the butter and you're gonna make what's called a compound butter. We're gonna take chives and parsley, garlic and fresh ginger, mix that into the butter, throw the butter in the freezer so it gets nice and firm, okay? When it's firm, you cut this into four equal pieces, so you're getting two tablespoons of butter per portion, and you put that in the middle of the pork. Fold it over and just press down, press down on the meat to surround the butter. See, all we did was take the flap, push it around, just like that. Look at that. Ooh, are those little butter pouches inside? Yeah, that's gonna be good. Okay, so back to the, the katsu and how we got to there. So you take it, you seal it, just like this, all the way around the butter, and then you're gonna pass it in flour, then with egg, and then for the breadcrumb, we have panko, so big fluffy breadcrumbs and I spiced up the panko with Japanese seven spice. Sometimes they also market togarashi. When we come back, I'm gonna wash up my hands, we're gonna make the salad that goes along with this and I'm gonna tell you all about the green rice and what makes it green right after this. Once you make all of your ginger and garlic butter stuffed pork Kievs, you keep them warm in a low oven, like 250, on a wire rack so they don't get gummy on the bottom. Now we're gonna make the refreshing cucumber salad that goes along with this. Um, I bought one package of Persian cucumbers, the little cucumbers like this, or you can use one seedless, or sometimes they mark them English, the cucumbers that come in the fancy saran wrap. Add a teaspoon of super fine sugar and a teaspoon of salt. Let this set and drain. We're going to finish them with a little dressing, about a tablespoon of rice wine vinegar, or you can use white distilled vinegar, and about a teaspoon and a half each of shoyu or soy sauce, and about a teaspoon and a half of toasted sesame oil. Then we're going to add our cucumbers, and then we're going to add some scallions, small bunch of scallions, thinly sliced on a bias, and we're gonna add shiso leaf. Um, okay, now for the green rice. You cook regular white long grain rice in vegetable or chicken stock. I cooked mine in chicken stock. It gives all of the rice flavor. When the rice has been cooking about 15 minutes, according to package directions, it's at a low simmer bubbling away, you're going to add what makes it green. One bunch of spinach we're going to put in a food processor with the basil cilantro combo or a couple of two of your kind of pods, I'd call them, your stacks of shiso leaf, two or three scallions, coarsely chopped, about an inch of ginger root, and I just peel it and put a few thin slices in there, two fat cloves of garlic, and we're gonna zap this all together until that mixture is finely chopped. This entire mixture, all of that great nutrition and flavor, we stir into the rice the last three minutes, add the juice of one lime for acidity. It's the craziest, most delicious green rice, like, ever. All right. So, we've got our butter and ginger and herb-filled pork chops. We've got our green rice. We've got our beautiful, refreshing, bright cucumber salad. Now, the katsu dressing. You take ketchup, mix it with yellow mustard, Worcestershire sauce, a little mirin, and some soy. Man, I'd eat this sauce on anything, including my arms. <laughs>